Please welcome Commercial Director of Visit Oman, Amanda Barnett, in conversation with Managing Director of Skift Advisory, Joe Nauman. thought we were going to talk about Oman today, <laughs> but we are going to talk about the Gold Coast of Australia. Just for a, just for a second, so that's where you're from? You're it born and raised in yes, that area? Yes, it is indeed Gold Coast, Australia. Which is a beautiful area, part of the world. Indeed. And now you are in Muscat. Residing in Muscat. And what you told me is that you are going to probably stay in Oman for the foreseeable future. For a long time. 100%. Why would you leave such a beautiful place and, and move to Oman? The Gold Coast was fantastic, absolutely. It was famous for fun. Lots of high rises, lots of theme parks, but after spending quite some years in the Middle East and then finally arriving in Oman, uh, we were blown away, by, blown away by the nature of the people. Uh, mm. The destination itself has so much to offer. It, it, they say it's a hidden gem of the Middle East, and it really is. Uh, but working with the Omani people and seeing how they really embrace their culture, uh, we fell in love with it. Awesome. Question for the folks in the crowd. How many people have been to Oman? Oh, okay, you got some. And I'm sure Same you've question. all been blown away by culture, history, heritage, as well as the people. Can you tell us a little bit about why that's so important for Oman and what are the steps that are being taken to, to preserve that. I'm assuming that that's one of their objectives and goals Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. So for those of you who have, who have been to Oman, you, you, would, you would probably see that or have experienced that the Omanis, uh, their culture, it's very, very close to their heart. It, it's at their core. And uh, if you've had the experience, um, it doesn't matter where you go, whether you're in the middle of Shakia Desert or whether you're in, on top of Jebel Akhtar or whether you're at Bar al Hikman on the beach, that you will often be approached by Omanis and they will come up to you and they will want to know who your, your, what your name is, where you're from. Uh, everything about you, and then they will welcome you in. They will offer you, if, if you're uh, in Jebel Akhtar, they will often offer you pomegranates from their farm, but they mm. would go out of their way all of the time to make you feel welcome. So this is really at their essence, is, is about their culture, and they're very proud of it. And how, how important is it for the tourism industry to preserve that culture and heritage as well? Absolutely. For, for Oman, this is, this is such a, a beautiful destination, and we are a little bit different to, to the rest of the region. Um, and this is why it's so important to preserve this authenticity. Um, a lot of people do always say that it's genuine, uh, it is authentic, and it really is. And that's one of the reasons we want to preserve that. We want to make sure that as we move into the future of, of tourism, that as we've had also learned from uh, di different sessions earlier today, that the, um, the interest around sustainability and the interest around history and culture is, is growing. Mm, okay, very good. And the reason why I wanted to focus on culture and heritage a little bit is because we've been talking a lot about technology and platforms and things like that. Um, and, you, you know, we sort of forget sometimes that underneath all of that, there's a destination with people that are trying, entrepreneurs that are trying to do things. And, and you know, this is what we're sort of experiencing um, in Oman. But I want to switch gears a little bit and let's talk about Visit Oman. So similarly, I said we were going to talk about the Gold Coast for a second. Visit Oman sounds like I'm going to talk about a destination for a second, but we're also going to talk about a platform. Maybe you could tell us a little bit more about what exactly, Visit Oman is. Exactly. So we'll take a little step back to 2019. So prior to the pandemic, there was actually quite an extensive study that was undertaken in Oman, how to boost the tourism and also aviation sector. And it was identified that you know previously to, to book something in Oman, it would be sending an email, it would be making a phone call, Sometimes there would be a delay in the email, so it was quite a laborious process. And when we're talking about uh, trade partners needing to do that for a destination, uh, we needed to find a solution. So therefore, the concept of Visit Oman came into play. So what we are to this day is a B2B inbound booking engine dedicated for Oman. Uh, we work very closely, of course, with the Ministry of Heritage and Tourism, but we are a subsidiary of the Omran Group, which is the government's tourism execution arm. Mm. So if I can give you a little bit of explanation of the platform. Please. Uh, so we are IATA accredited, so we have over 60 airlines uh, activated on the platform. Because it was a national initiative, of course we work very closely with our national carriers, but it was really important to open up the destination. Then beyond that, of course, we have our accommodation, which is everything from the five-star hotels, right through to staying in some of the unique, again, uh, heritage sites in some of the villages, which is fantastic. But our forte, and what we've been focusing on, is our product development with experiences. 
So we have a dedicated team that consistently curate all these fantastic experiences throughout the destination. And if you think about it, if you've been to Oman, you've been to Muscat, you've been to Salala, you might have been to one or two of the different governorates when in fact we have 11 and, and 14 clusters beyond that, which the government really needs to activate in order to meet our 2040 objectives. So our, 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 um, our focus on these experiences is incredibly important. It, and then of yeah. course beyond that, the entire value chain for Oman. I mean, to me that's so refreshing to hear and coming off some of the presentations earlier today, we were talking about the importance of, um, you know, uh, transitioning from assets to experiences, and, and this is a made in Oman solution uh, that's quite innovative and competing with some of the major OTAs that are out there that are also trying to do the same thing. And we're, we're going to talk more about it, but I know you also have a video that, um, that will give us a little bit more of an idea of what that's like. So of course you can see here, this is the natural beauty of Oman is, is speaks for itself. And then of course we have the, the platform. Uh, the other interesting feature of this platform is that it's not just packages. You can actually buy single elements, you can build the package, and then you've got special packages where we actually push through our DMC special packages for our trade partners. So um, it really is a, an avenue that we can utilize our SME experiences and push them through for trade partners. And all of this is actually underpinned by a quality assurance framework. That's amazing. And I know when, when we chatted about potentially bringing you up on stage and talking about what you're doing over here, it blew my mind because what you're now also able to do is, is to support the entrepreneurs, you know, sm small players, big players across Oman to work together to create a, 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 a seamless experience for visitors. Exactly. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit previously, more. Previously, if you're an SME and you're starting a new business, you know, to, in order to have the, the reach internationally or marketing support. Um, this is an avenue where, where Visit Oman really comes into play to support the SMEs. So uh, across our quality assurance framework, we then also help them build the quality of their product to make sure that what the feedback we're getting from trade partners also aligns with what they're actually delivering. Excellent. And so can you tell us a little bit more about the results of this with, with some of the folks on the ground? Yes, absolutely. So I think we might have a slide or two that we can refer to for this one. Um, so to give you an indication, uh, one of the, the SMEs is um, a, a lovely uh, community in Dofar and Salal. So uh, the, a group of ladies, all of which are incredibly accomplished. One was the uh, first, uh, first woman to summit Mount Everest. We also have weightlifting champions, and they all came together to uh, create a community in Salala. Beyond this community, they then took that further and created experiences where it's not just a tour of Salala, it's, it's going out and getting involved and immersed into the uh, community and spending time in the rainforests in Dofar or spending time with families. And so therefore, this product, which was previously uh, unavailable to be distributed at scale, is now being done so through Visit Oman. That's amazing. And I know, I, I want to make sure that we show some of these slides, because it's always amazing when we could put a face to this. So if possible to put those slides up, that would be awesome. Um, now, you know, uh, oh, here, here we are. go. Here, here can... we are, these, these wonderful two ladies. So uh, it, we actually held, after the, the pandemic, we held a, a, a supply meeting called Meet VO. And uh, this was an opportunity to introduce these two ladies and also encourage, encourage collaboration across other suppliers in Oman. Uh, they, they were previously unknown, and you could just see DMCs, you know, so interested, other suppliers interested in collaborating with them, and then we get that together, and then they get to push through Visit Oman. And, and you know, that's amazing, because the topic that we're talking about is the importance of culture and heritage, but also how do you balance that against m the need to continue to progress and modernization as yes. well? So, yes. um, you know, that's sort of what you're, what I feel like you're doing. We talked about the importance of culture and heritage for destination and experience. Uh, but then you're approaching that progress and moder modernization from a different lens than most of us expect, yes. which is from a community perspective and individual's perspective exactly, as well. Exactly, exactly. So beyond the, the digital realm, uh, infrastructure in Oman is another, another avenue, of course, yeah. that we're, we're doing to, um, to make sure that the, the destination is connected. Uh, the road work is within the top 10 uh, globally, and it's the second in the region. So in order to get to these experiences, it's now also very feasible and, uh, and very quick and easy. So it makes a big difference when you're trying to package different parts of the destination together and, and activate it. I mean, I remember the very first time I went to Oman was actually in Masandam through Ras al Khema, speaking to Raki earlier. Uh, I did not stop in Ras al Khema, but I, I will now. <laughs> I, I, I have since. 
but the infrastructure in Masandam, which is you know even separate from the rest of Oman, is just was one of the things that you know I never really noticed infrastructure. I just use it, but it, it actually stuck out in my mind as as amazing what Oman is doing from an infrastructure development perspective. So it's just it's just, I find it fabulous how they're marrying this culture and need to you know preserve this culture and heritage, but then also you're finding them modernizing from a technological perspective, from an infrastructure perspective. What are some of your thoughts, um, you know, if, if uh, tomorrow another Middle Eastern destination were to say, Amanda, I want you to, uh, to come here and, and, um, and help us do the same thing, what, what are recommendations that you might have for other destinations in the GCC or in the Middle East or maybe even globally that you've learned through this process in Oman? Sure. Well, particularly uh, in reference to emerging destinations, uh, getting that buy-in from the local community is, is so important. Um, and then to get their ideas and, and, and make that a part, part of the, the journey for them and the, 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 the cultural push for the destination. Uh, beyond that, sustainability, of course, is incredibly important. And then as you want to preserve the, the heritage, naturally you're going to need to control in some manner the, the development, but at the same time find that balance so you've got that, the infrastructure in place as well. That, uh, so that's amazing. So you're, you're focusing on the modernization and it's mostly through the community. Yes, there's infrastructure, the basic building blocks to help uh, drive that forward, but uh, you're, you're also making sure that everyone comes along for that journey with you. Exactly. Excellent. Uh, good, I know we still have a little bit of time on the clock, but I do want to keep this punchy because I think it's just very interesting to connect these two things. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Amanda, for being up on stage it's with us pleasure. here and uh, hope to, uh, to chat with you the rest of the evening today and, and tomorrow. So thank you. Thank you very right. much.